Wait, you got it? Hang on, why don't you come Damn. sit up? I'm too lazy to sit up. <laughs> but you're not too lazy to go to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Is it already on? I think, yeah. Mac just texted me and said this. Is like, oh, my gosh. praise the Lord that you're not going. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Hi. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. It took me a while to even figure out how to do this. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Look at this pretty hot oh mama. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, hot mama. Oh, ow, ow. No, oh, hey. don't oh, follow ow. me. <laughs> Oh, 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 Get away. Hey. hey, oh, oh, oh. I'm sitting down. Woo. Oh, oh. oh. I'm so pregnant. Hi, guys. What, what the hell is going on today? I'm just, I'm just watching You're you so do this. You're so cute. Well, I just canceled my flight to Washington, D.C., I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. People think that at, like celebrities and stuff know what we're doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Ever. I never know what I'm doing. We're all... I, just... I think it's gone okay. again. Wait, wait. It's because I wasn't on the Wi-Fi. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me connect to the Wi-Fi, guys. There. Okay, okay. Okay, sorry, guys. I had to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um... I'm here right now in LA because we came to LA to take some meetings. Can you leave me alone? No, bud. Anyway. All right. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm really, I really am so tired of this country and gun violence. I'm so tired of turning on the news every day and hearing about a new shooting and then getting on Twitter and saying sorry and sending love and I just am frustrated with the world that we live in and I don't I have no answer to how to change it but I love humanity I love everyone like I love all of you I see all these little color hearts that are just do 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 and my heart is like boop 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 right back at you guys. Um, so a lot of good advice that I was seeing is there's organizations that are already doing awesome work, and to instead of just being stupid Dan and standing in front of the White House with a sign and being like, hey, change, like maybe I should talk with them. So I heard your words loud and clear, and so I canceled my flight. Um. But I am talking tomorrow with Emma Gonzalez and David Hogg, who are both badasses and part of March for Your Lives, um, March for Our Lives. And I'm going to see what we can do, whether that's concerts, uh, whether it's marches. I don't know what it is, but I just want us to take action Action, action, action. I'm tired of words. I'm tired of Twitter words. I'm tired of people saying words. Like, I, I want a different world. I just want a different world. Um, I just want to live in a world where color doesn't matter, where nationality doesn't matter, where class doesn't matter. There's, it's such an archaic way of living, and I'm just so burnt on it. And it's... It's just so obvious. It's such an obvious thing, man. But if for some reason it's just not. And our world still has tons of racism and bigotry and hate and hurt. Um, and uh, I guess I'm just your cliche cheesy musician who's like, peace, love. Come on, guys. You know, but I want to be more than that. I wish I could be like helpful in some other way I just don't know the answer and it just makes me feel defeated to be honest I just really feel defeated right now when I feel defeated I get smiley and stupid <laughs> cause I'm just like well just defeated but I got this cutie pie that's by my side and she's a badass so that helps 
So, okay, I'm, enough talking. Let me look at what you guys are saying and, like, answer questions and do things that you're supposed to do on a live stream. Um, okay. Let's see. Hi, Shalahinanazes. Oh, that's a hard name that I picked. Sorry. Love from Slovenia. Ooh, hi. Love to you. Um... People want to be in my live video? Do I hit view for that? I don't know. I'm not going to do that. That sounds complicated. Um, I love you, MJ Hard Cherry. Uh, fox in disguise. Love you too. Are you a fox? I'm not sure. <laughs> Just trying to make Asia laugh. But she's a tough critic. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Hi from Amazonas. At the Amazon or something? That's amazing. If that is cool. I'm probably being so stupid right now. I'm really sorry. It's at Amazonas. Kazakh Kazakhstan, really? Hello from Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan, I bet. Kazakhstan, is that how you say it? I don't know. Kazakhstan? No, it's said Ka- Kazakhstan, I think. Kazakhstan. I don't know, yeah. I love you guys. I love you, I love you. Okay, about the Origins tour. A lot of people have been like, why didn't you tour for Origins? And I'm just going to give you the answer. I love that album. I love Origins. I love it as much as just as all our records. But to be honest with you, I was just so burnt out and losing my mind. Like, I was losing my family. I was losing everything. Because I just was burnt from the road. That's it. I just was so burnt out. And I needed to come home and just be a human again and try to fix the things that are most important to me. So that's why I didn't tour our origins. But I do love that record, and I promise we will tour it at some point in the future. Okay? I love all those songs. I know that ooh, birds fly in different directions, and ooh, ooh, I hope to see you again. I can't even listen to that song because it makes me want to cry. I definitely cried in my own music. I'm not ashamed to say that. I like if I play a, if I if I record a song and it really has a lot of meaning to me, then I definitely no shame about it. Will I cry? That's the point of art. Why else? Yeah, I'm not crying because I'm like, oh my gosh, Dan, I love you so much. I'm crying because I'm singing about something that's so meaningful to me that has now been put into words and 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 music and. And that touches me. That affects me. It's magical. There's nothing in the world like music. It's extremely magical. And that's the reason that I keep coming back to it. Um, they have every okay. town for gun safety. Dot, I think dot com. Yeah, I've heard about every, every town. No, every town dot org. Yeah. Every town dot org. If you're for gun safety and we're, I don't know, we're trying to figure out how we can be effective to make a difference. And I think... I wasn't super comfortable with Dan going away and standing out in front of the White House because I'm not 100% sure that somebody won't just shoot him with a gun. And the truth is, I just am not prepared to have that happen to him right now because we got three kids and one on the way. Wait, but you're prepared for it to happen another time? (laughs) In a few years, maybe, when we've had a couple more years together. But but honestly, like the truth is, I, I really am like, I'm hoping that we can come up with with putting all of our heads together, maybe we can come up with a way to make some change. We really need some change. This is just not, you know, it's not the world we want to live in. It's not the country we want to live in. Um, yeah. And then the hatred is like, I just, I can't even, we're ready to, we're going to go into the mountains and never come out. But we're not because I love all of you (laughs) and we're together. We're a big family across the world. I really feel like that. Like, I, I don't say that enough, and I hope you guys feel that. Um, I know that when we play the shows, I tell you I love you, and I feel your energy, and I'm there with you, and then it's like we're gone. And it's, But you got to know, I don't care what anybody says, it's very real for me that with this world of fans and the Imagine Dragon fan group, this is family for me. Like, I've shared so many special moments with you guys, read so many special letters. You've told me, like, so many really personal things about your lives and mm. I've read about them and I hope you know that I really love you all and and this is sacred to me and I'd never want to do you guys wrong or embarrass you or I don't know man I just like I just I love all of you I really care about you and I know that um 
you're the, you know, you're the reason that I'm doing this. Because I feel connected to you all and, the, and that's why the music's important. That's why this is all important to me. And that's why I get so offended when people knock on it. Because it's like knocking on not just me. It's knocking on a bunch of people that are really rad and know how meaningful this is and have invested their lives into this. And I guess that's why I'm like touchy when other musicians are like, bah, bah, bah. I'm like, yeah, you need to shut the hell up because you actually don't know anything about this group of people and how meaningful this is to us. It's not about me. This is about us. It's about a lot of people who believe in this joint magical music. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. It sounds pretty like frou-frou, but it's real for me. So anyway, okay, back to your questions. Come to Mexico from Chris Shockwave. We're definitely going to come to Mexico. Mexico, yo soy un hombre sincero. De donde crece la palma. Y ya antes de morir me quiero. <laughs> it charms her so del alma. That was a poem that I learned in Spanish in high school. <laughs> Sorry. Shout out to my, my high school Spanish teacher. Okay, let's see. These are, these are too fast. I can't keep up with everything. Oh, I need to... Oh, you can scroll through them. Whoa! There's so many. Rock and Rio, yeah. Hello, Brazil. We are coming to play Rock and Rio very soon. And do you know Brazil loves you, Selena? Jara? Yes, I do. And I love you, too. Dan, please say something in Portuguese. Bobo caba. That's all I know. And I only know Obrigada. that because... Obrigada. Obrigada. Obrigado. Obrigado. Bobo Caba means, are you stupid? My brother used to say that to me because he lived in the Philippines for a while and he knew, uh, he learned Tagalog. Bobo Caba. That's the Philip. Dan, what's Tagalog. up? Danielle. Danielle Portuguese. Ballard. Oh my gosh. Is that Danielle? Like Danielle, Danielle? Oh, hi. So, I love you. I used to play basketball with Danielle and her younger brother, Corey, was my best friend. And I miss him. He still is my best friend. Babe, I just never get to see him. You realize... What was the name of our... Oh, the Moonlakers. The Moonlakers. Swoosh. You realize someone asked you to say something in Portuguese and you said something in Tagalog. Portuguese and I said it in Tagalog. Oh, that's Philip Philippine. Oh, the Philippines is Tagalog. I'm so stupid. I'm really oh tired gosh. right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. But I see... Oh, you how do I, I delete this say something in Portuguese. Yeah, you confused me. You no, no, I saved you. I, yeah, obrigado. That's all I know. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So, Bobo Copa is actually Tagalog. Obrigado is... Portuguese. Portuguese. So, sorry about that. Say hi, Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Following from India. Wow, India. I do want to come to India. We haven't been there yet, but I definitely want to go there at some point. Um, I love Skipping Stones. Can you sing that next door? That's Asher Brinkley. Yeah, uh, I love that song, and I definitely will sing that song. I keep skipping stones, hoping for a change, but things just stay the same. That's actually exactly how I feel tonight. That's how I feel with all these shootings. That song is like, that's how I feel. I keep skipping stones, hoping for a change, but things just stay the same. I keep walking roads, looking for a home that I can call my own. Skipping stones, I'm skipping stones, I'm skipping stones, I'm skipping stones. Wow, it looks like I have a mullet a little bit. It kind of makes me remember the good old days when I had a mullet and a rat tail. Maybe I should bring that back. What do you guys think? Yes, no? I see hearts. Okay, yeah, I want to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Uh, what? Ha why have you canceled the show in Quebec, Dan? We had to cancel the show. We didn't have a choice. So when we're playing a show, if there's lightning that strikes next to the stage, we get pulled off stage. We have no choice. And honestly, um, it, there have been people who have been hurt at festivals because people have not done that. And that's just irresponsible. So when there's lightning, it just sucks. But that's the way it is. We don't have a choice. We can't uh, let you guys get hurt. Um, let's see here. 
No entiendo, pero con solo vete me conformo. Ben, do I get your blessing to sing Believer for my school talent show? Yes. You have my blessing. You definitely have my blessing. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, the way that things have been. Oh, I was broken from a youngish, taking my soak into the masses, writing my poems. But the few who look at me, taking me, shaking me, feeling me, singing from the heartache, from the pain, taking my message, from the veins, speaking my lesson, from the brain, seeing the beauty through the... <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, ba 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 ba. <laughs> what? I don't know. We're just doing this for a minute. We're having a good time, babe. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I never really do this, and so I should do this more, you know. Okay, let me see here. Your wife is so beautiful. I know, right? Uh, gracias, Dub Mariela. Gracias. Um, Dan, I love you and you inspire me to be a better person. Billy Martin. Thank you, Billy. That's very sweet of you. Te amo. I love you too. That was Dana HM18. Um, love from Chile, from Rose. I love Chile. We definitely uh, will go back there again soon. You and Asia are adorable. Thank you. Sing Fade with Asia, please. I love that song. That's like OG status. That's old school. Can you guys believe I just turned 32? Ugh. 32. Actually, you know what? I'm really tired of this whole thing where it's like age is a bad thing. I know a lot of old people say this. They're like, stop harping on age. And it's like, well, yeah, of course you're going to say that because you're getting older. But really, age should be a beautiful thing. And I want to say a couple of things about age, actually. I really, really hate uh, the pressures that our society puts on women that age. I hate this whole concept of men age gracefully, blah, blah, blah. And women are supposed to like conform to this impossible standard. Um, and... I got to be honest, I actually think women age a lot better than men. Men get super wrinkly, generally don't take as good as care as their skin, so their pores are all huge and like porous and gross, and women typically look a lot better when they get older. So I really think the saying should be women actually age gracefully, and men are lucky to not look like a piece of shit as they get older, so... Um, we need to stop the whole, like, stay young forever, look like a little person forever, like, no, grow, and get older, and, like, show your lines, and be expressive, and, like, I love my smile lines, because I'm smiley, it's like, oh, look at these little smiles, you must be smiling, you know, I have these little smile lines, like, <laughs> um, okay, Peru, hello, Peru, are you touring in NC again? Sigmon Ashley. We definitely will be in North Carolina again. Uh, 32 years of perfection in the world. I love you. Dan, you're amazing and you rock my world. I love you. Love you. Love you. I can't. I'm sorry that I'm not seeing these uh, names. I should say the name first, I guess. The Fox Fiend, please come to Portland, Oregon. I love Portland, Oregon. I was just there. Asia's from Eugene, Oregon. So we go there all the time. I love Oregon. Hello from Slovenia. Awesome. Bad liar. I love Bad Liar. Actually, Bad Liar was a soup. Um, Bad Liar was a song I wrote with Asia. Like, we literally wrote it a month before we got separated. And it was not planned. It was just like, we sat down together and we were like, let's write this song. And we were in kind of a rough spot in our relationship. And so I think we were just sort of like, sneakily saying how we felt in a song. And then we finished it, and it was like a month later we were separated. And then I was expected to sing that on tour, and I just couldn't, and I wouldn't, because it's like, how in the, I'm already like a pretty cry person, to be honest. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, I wear my heart on my sleeve. But, um, so, yeah, it was like impossible to get on stage and be like, sing about, you know, batting next to me. Are you kidding me? Like, when we made that music video right before we got separated, and that music video came out, and it was like the death of our relationship. None of that was planned. That was some weird ass, like 
universe like things I don't uh going on there rock and Rio yes Illinois awesome hello Illinois what does it mean when all these people are sending me a request to be in your live video should I press view on that can anybody let me know I don't know what that means and I I keep seeing it um but I don't I don't think I should probably do it sing shots Sing shots. I love shots. Um, am I out of touch? Am I out of my place? I keep saying that I'm looking for an empty space. Oops, sorry. I dropped my phone. <laughs> I guess that's going to have to be it on that. Uh, what's my zodiac sign? Cancer. I'm July 14. So I'm a cancer. I think that makes me sensitive... And sensitive. That's the only thing I know about it. And that's pretty true. So that Zodiac thing must be real. Oh, uh, support from Vegas. Lena. I love Vegas. Born and raised. Favorite city in the world. I live there. Yep. I live in Vegas. That's my home. We're just visiting LA right now because I was taking some meetings to possibly do some film and TV. What do you guys think about that? Should I do a movie? I was thinking about maybe getting into that. I I did um, acting growing up and I loved it. And I just I haven't done anything like that in a while. So I'm thinking about doing that. Took some meetings. Um, are you coming back to New York City? Yeah, we'll be coming back for sure soon. Seeing a little piece of dream. That's, a, that's like a belter. I'd have to belt that one out. And that's a sad song. I don't want to sing a sad song right now. Too many sad things lately. I want to, I'm trying to be positive. Um, what is this request from all these people to be in your live video? Nobody's explained that to me still yet. Can anybody explain what, it, what does it mean when people are requesting to be in my live video? Does that mean I'm going to click it and they're going to be like a trillion little faces all over or something? Don't hit the requests, Clarissa says. Okay, thank you, Asia. Don't hit that, okay? I'm not going to hit that. Sorry, guys. Clarissa is my amazing assistant, and Asia told me that. Hey, Briss. I didn't even know you are watching. I love you. She's the best. Um, Asia said, no, don't do it again. Okay, I got you, babe. I hear you. Dan, no. <laughs> Clarissa Savage, no. <laughs> Red alert, 911. I get the point, guys. I think this is delayed or something, probably. Okay. Clarissa says, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I get the point. Uh, it's like a FaceTime sort of thing. Well, that's crazy. Do you like the tacos, baby? <laughs> I don't know what the tacos, baby is, but that sounds a little fishy. Do it. Someone told me to do it. Press the button. Oh, maybe I'm going to press it. Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, let's see here. Can you please greet my love melee for me? Hello, Mer Merte, or was it Merle? I couldn't see, sorry. I saw your show in Bangor. Asia's doing pregnant emojis. I see you, you little creeper. Thank you for inspiring me. Good night, Dan. Good night, Tris, T-R-I-S. Um, in how many months will the child be born? The Our little baby boy is due October 8th, and we have a name... And I'm going to announce it right now. Just kidding. Asia would kill me. We're keeping it a secret. But we do have a name. But October 8th is the date. Come to Guatemala, KJ Salvador. We will at some point. Please, Dan, dream. Okay, I'll dream right now. Um, I love you, Dan. Brazil loves you. I love Brazil. Please say hi, Kira. Are you coming to Albuquerque again? Hi. Asia, stop telling me don't press the button. I get it. I won't press the button. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Te amo. Sing Curse. Oh, that's that was one of the first songs we wrote as a band was Curse. It was like, uh, I don't even remember how that went. She barely knew your name. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
She was from the city. I can't even, I don't remember that song, to be honest with you. It's been a long time since we told you this song. Sing West Coast. I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs. Dan, read my question. I have a suggestion about how to help with gun control. Joe Peter, I think. Read my question. Okay, I'll look for your question. Uh, Dan, do you still want to pick up that rash cream for you? <laughs> oh, Mac Reynolds. <laughs> Okay, Mac is my brother and my manager, and he just he just pulled a quick one on me. I don't need rash cream. Thanks, Mac. Uh, following from Iraq. Awesome. Hey, K-A-R-16. Can you sing Smoke and Mirrors, Tug? Mac, aren't you on a plane right now? I feel like Mac's on a plane. How are you watching this on a plane? You need to stop that. You're going to mess up the plane doing that stuff. Uh, let me see. I love you. All things heaven and earth. Say hi and I could die in peace. Hi, Dustin. But don't die. But have peace. But don't die. Uh, hello from Vietnam. Love kid. Hi. Hello. Um, KK, I will cancel the bulk order. I'm at the airport. <laughs> Mac. Hey, by the way, it's Mac's birthday today, everybody. We should sing him happy birthday, huh? Mac Reynolds is my manager. And even though he's making rash jokes, um, I do love him. And it's his birthday. So we're all going to sing happy birthday, but it's just going to sound like me singing it. And most likely, none of you are going to be singing it. So it's all good, but I'm going to sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. But I don't want to make it like weird. It sounds like sexual president, like birthday this is my brother so it should be more like happy birthday hey mac happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday to you mac all right do, 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 do. unsubscribe mac <laughs> all right why is max popping up so much i'd rather see what other people are saying um let's see here hi from colombia hello from ecuador hi guys hello colombia hello ecuador can you tell us if there's a new song coming soon? I cannot tell you that. What's my favorite song of Origins? I don't know. Maybe Birds right now. Like I heard it on the radio because it's playing overseas on the radio. And I was like, hmm, I forgot. I really like this song. Hey, I love you. Kata. Kata? Kata? I love you too. Do you like Marvel movies? Um... I don't know. I haven't, I've been so out of the loop with them that there's all these new ones coming out and I just, I can't go see them because um, I feel like I, I am out of the loop, but I don't know anything. Asia's texting me and telling me I need to wrap it up because she wants to watch this new show that we're watching called The Boys um, on Amazon Prime. They better pay me lots of money for saying that. Uh, come on, where's my Buddha? Um We're only one episode in, but it's pretty good. Say my name, please. I love you from Argentina. Candice Sakira. Pop off, King. Oh, I love you guys. Asia, come on alive. The Boys is cringy. Is it cringy? Oh, man. Well, I'm only one episode in. So far, it hasn't been too cringy. So, sorry about that uh, cringe stuff. Uh, Asia, don't tell me to shh. You shh. I love you all. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, I guess, here. Say my name. Anna Kolkarn. Come to Rapid City. All right, deal. Heart upon my sleeve. Oh, rest in peace, Avicii. Love you, man. Tim was amazing. I love that guy. May he live on. All right, I'm going to go to bed, everybody. Um, I love you. You know, it feels good to be able to connect with people from all over the world. Um, to be honest, I've just been bummed, man. I've been super bummed, uh, as a lot of people in America have. There have been so many shootings. And just awful things happening, and it feels like there's so much hate in the world. And so, um, it's just nice to connect with people, even if it's over the internet, and to remember that there actually are some good things about the internet. Like, it connects people from all over, and that's really rad. So, I love you all. I hope you feel good about yourselves. You should. You're beautiful just the way you are. Be unique. Be you. I love you. I stand with you. Fight for each other. Stand up for each other. Um, 
Do all you can to give love to that kid in the back of the room that seems alone. And yeah, over and out. I love you all. I'll, there'll be mu- new music on the horizon soon, I promise. Um, kisses to all of you. I'll see you somewhere around the world.